Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome to the review of Bioshock 2. Um, this game is available on the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. This is the Xbox 360 version. So Bioshock 2 is a sequel to... I gotta say, like, one of the best, uh, this games This is Sinclair's lifeboat father. Out the window the here. Bioshock. It's our only chance of escape. Um, the story what here know, Sinclair, basically takes place just ten years after it. the events of the first game. And, um, it is yes, a direct Delta. sequel, so what if you are planning on playing this, I do recommend that you sell play the first one, um, and first. Where is he now? Uh, which is more or less, uh, no a different. So, the story takes place about, like I said, ten years after the event of the first game on a, on a city called Rapture. This like facility city, over an ocean. Um, kind of like Atlantis and stuff. And basically, the residents of Rapture have gone crazy and basically become drug addicts because they're stuck under here forever. It's like, once you get down here, there's like no way out. It's nearly impossible to get out. So, basically the story is uh, more or less just to get out of the city, to reach the surface of the um, ocean. Uh, this takes place in 1969, so, you know, it's not present day and stuff, but it does a you fairly good job at, with the father. architecture, Give it a go. you can definitely tell, like, the 1969 feel. So, um, awesome stuff from the, uh, second game that they just added, and also the stuff that they kept, which is really good in the first place. Um, you have a lot of weapons, as you can see, and, um, right now I'm going to be doing the hacking stuff and I just used an auto hack and that's what I um I think I really like about uh, the game is the we new hack have to get you out of rapture father uh basically for hacking way I can save just, you now um all you have to do is just press you know the A button or the X button and um on when once it gets to like green or blue uh I guess radical or something like that but um, in the first game it was like changing tubes and it just, I didn't like the hacking at all in the first game, so I'm very glad that they changed that. Another great thing is the graphics of the game, which are very excellent. I mean, the graphics in the first game are pretty awesome too, but this game has some really awesome graphics. You can definitely see the detail in the characters' faces and the architecture of the environment. All, all the originality and stuff like that. It's just, it's really well done stuff. And there's a lot of um, vending machines and stuff around uh, around the uh, city. As you can see, this is a gene bank where you can swap out your different plasmids and special abilities. Plasmids are basically uh, superhuman abilities that uh, you can use to take down your enemies. You can set person on fire, uh, electrify someone, free someone, um, what else, send a swarm of insects at someone, uh, you can uh, do, use telekinesis and stuff, pick up objects that are far away, all this is just really well done and stuff, so I, I really like the, um, the abilities and stuff, as you can see I have uh, the lightning bolt plasma right now on my uh, left hand. And there's another thing that's really awesome about the first game. And then here's an example of hacking, I think someone's hacking. You simply, you need to get, you want to get to, you know, a green or blue section. If you get into white, then it's going to hurt you. If you get to the red section, it's going to set off an alarm. Which is not good, the alarm lasts about 50 to 60 seconds and stuff. You just have bots coming at you with machine guns, and it isn't, it isn't that fun at all. So I just set the alarm off by hacking it and completely nearly dying. So you want to be very careful with that. Um, but yeah, uh, I love the, uh, the environments, I love the graphics and stuff. Another awesome thing that I wish all games had is if you go to the options, there's a uh, mode where you can just select a lot of frame rate. And basically, by default, the game is the game runs at about uh, 30 to 45 frames per second, and you can um, change that to 60 frames per second by going to your audio to unlock frame rate. Although, let me warn you, if you do not have 
a really nice HDTV, then um, the visuals are really going to downgrade. It even says that. Um, so I, it's, it's really recommended that you get an HDTV. Um, so yeah. Let's see. Uh, so right off the bat, you play as a big daddy. You actually look exactly like the one that you're seeing um, right now. And I don't want to spoil anything Delta. for anyone, but the this game has activated do, do you ever view this game was kind of hard um, because there's no chapter selection and stuff. Or we shall fall and be crushed or in the abyss the below. And stuff. So I already beat the game yesterday, and um, I had to actually. Mother has locked all of Persephone well, down, including I, I the gangway to leading to the, the um, lifeboat. Last level. So we can this, reverse it from the holding the wing if we hurry. Level, but Come I'm on. not going to show any cutscenes that are going to give away the ending. But the ending is pretty cool. Use the plasmid uh, if you see. need me, Father. Gameplay wise, the game, going to have game a look around. the same as the um, awesome, fun part of the first game. You saw the plasmid and awesome new thing you can now dual wield and stuff so I like dual wield so yeah the gameplay is very nice and it just works together in a game like this the package is very well put together for the single player option now we're going to be taking a look now at the brand new franchise the brand new thing for um, Bioshock 2 it is their first edition of multiplayer and the first one did not have multiplayer um, but yeah this one does, and we're actually gonna looking at it right now. Going in the game lobby, we're actually gonna play some Civil War, which is like team deathmatch, sort of. But yeah, multiplayer. The multiplayer is, you know, kind of fun. It's it's very unique. Don't get me wrong. It's, it is really unique, but it just doesn't have that same competitive feel as you would, you know, from uh, let's see, uh, you know, the Battlefield series or Modern Warfare and stuff. But you know it is a nice addition to the game, and anyone who's a Bioshock 2 fan will um, definitely enjoy uh, this game. I gotta say, I like the original um, name for the Bio for Bioshock 2. Which before they called it just you know, before they actually came up with the name for reason, like Bioshock 2, they wanted to call it uh, uh, Bioshock 2: Sea of Dreams, which was an actually fairly awesome subtitle. So I don't know why they took that away. But anyway, here's what the multiplayer looks like. Um, you basically kill people, and you can use plasma to get people back to get them and, um, and set them on fire. But um, yeah, you can also hack. Uh, you can hack vending machines and, and turrets to you know make them work for your team. And stuff, so that's really nice. And there's also this. Um, there's also a lot of modes like capture the sister, where you have to take a sister, take a little sister to. Um, so yeah, overall, um, multiplayer is all right. You know, it's not that it's not gonna be like a big thing. It, it doesn't really get to you know just being unique alone. And um, yeah, that's that's mainly all I have to say. Um, the game's well put together, I think. Um, I didn't enjoy the multiplayer as much as I thought I would, but. I did enjoy the single player and more than I did with the first game for some reason. Even though this is not really a huge change from the first game, I did enjoy the single player. And the single player is going to last you about 8 to, 8 to 10 hours of you know, gameplay. At least it did for me. On my first time playing through, I beat it in day. So I was a bit disappointed in the length of the game, but hey, you know what? What are you gonna do? When I pay, when I you know expect to, uh, when I buy a game, I expect to be around. 12 to 15 hours of yeah. gameplay. And, you know, if it's longer than that, then I guess it doesn't have to include multiplayer. But, hey, you know what? This game's um, pretty awesome, none nevertheless. But, um, yeah. That's the review, guys. I um, hope you guys enjoyed Bioshock 2. My final rating for Bioshock 2. I'm gonna go ahead and give this game... Uh, I'm gonna give this game an 8 out of 10. Alright, see you guys later.